Hey guys, uh, for everyone who's been keeping an eye on my channel, and for anyone who's coming across this video, uh, I thought I might doc just document this one, because I thought it might help. Um, basically, I've started off with a, an RC truck, uh, a four-wheeler kind of buggy, and it had lovely components in, and what I did is, I thought, you know what, that's, that's a nice four-wheeler, I'll add another two wheels, and get a six-wheeler in one. And what I'm doing is I've got a spare one here, which I've just got off a really nice chap called Tony. Um, I'll leave you his contact deals on Facebook below because he does not only really good quality, like this gear is lovely, um, but his prices are really good and he's a pretty trustworthy fella. So I'd highly recommend him and I will leave his uh, details below. There's a plug for you, Tony. I appreciate it, man. And uh, what I was going to say, um, but on this uh, on this truck, what I'm making, this six-wheeler, basically, I have a nitro engine, and um, it's got an outpipe here for its exhaust, to go into its exhaust, and these trucks, they're made for high speed for the four-wheelers, so what I want to do is I want to drop the sound of it because they scream like buggery and even though that's not too bad on the track if you're racing them round not too good for my six wheel truck so what I've done is um, this was the original exhaust and there's a, a, an outpipe I think it is for the nitro um, any residues I think that one is and then this is the exhaust that will be going really as high as I can on my truck because I want to keep it out of the water and keep keep it from getting flooded and what I'm doing is I'm running the nitro engine is going into this long tube which is three power banks and it's the outer shells of the power bank the aluminium tube in which I've just screwed together to make a long tube and then that hooks up with this little yellow nozzle to here to the actual engine piece so you've got a long pipe coming out and what I've done is it started out as empty tubing with this one but if I just unscrew it here I can show you what I've done on the outer layer on the outer layer what I've done is I've took small metal mesh, mesh and I've um, coned it and I've made it say three layers thick and I've, I've tried to keep a perfect circle on it and it's this type of mesh it's very fine mesh as you can see it's very lightweight and that's on the outside in, of the piping. And if I just show you, I've combed another circular section in that's going into the pipe in here. So there's the fin mesh that's coiled around. There we go. You can see a two or three layers. And then on the inside of this, there's there's more mesh, but this mesh is slightly it, it's slightly larger. The the gaps between the mesh are larger. And the idea is when when the smoke uh, when the smoke and exhaust fumes come out of the engine there they go into the barrel and the little circular kind of um coned thicker uh, mesh that that disperses the sound and the fumes into the smaller mesh which in turn takes the sound mainly the sound and um, transforms that into heat, which is then conducted through the outer layer. So, kind of sound is transformed to heat in the whole process. So, just before I chop this off nice and neat, and I, I push it back on and screw it together, I'll, I'll, I just thought I'd show you that. And what I'll do now is, after I've put it back on, I'll put it in, and I'll feed the the casing from the blue part into this one which will then hook up to the exhaust and be ready to mount and in my next video for this muffler system um, I'll show the difference of sound between the original muffler uh, the engine on with the original muffler on the engine on without the original muffler nothing uh, no, uh, depleting the sound and then the engine on with my muffler system I had a quick look in this original muffler and uh, it doesn't look very muffly in the respect that it just looks like a hollow chamber it doesn't look like there's anything in there to kind of diffract the sound about the place change into heat 
But then I imagine if you're after a racing truck, you're probably not too bothered or even want the sound of a high-tuned engine. So, um, yeah, hopefully my little muffling system here will decrease the sound and I'll still get plenty of airflow through to uh, get it out the top here. Um, I'm going to ext uh, this uh, air intake here, I'm going to extend to the top of the truck as well. And um, as this is sitting at the bottom of the truck, if when it goes through the mud and the water, as everything's above it, then um, it shouldn't flood the engine. Um, that's the idea anyway. The electronics I'm still working on. Um, electronics for these things are never very good for waterproofing. Um, so yeah, if you have one of these engines and you are thinking of building a truck and you do need some kind of muffler system, then perhaps you might consider this one. Um, either get a stretch of aluminium pipe or simply get some power banks and keep the cells and the PCB boards inside and just use the tubing and then just get a bit of mesh off eBay, get some very fine mesh for the outer, this one's a bit bent at the end but it's nice and um, circular inside and then for the inner get um, a, a, a wider mesh and that way it can go through the inner and then just be diffused gradually to the outer mesh rather than small mesh and it struggling to be diffused outwards throughout the entire thing. So um, yeah, next video I'll uh, show you how this sounds and um, hope it helps if you are considering a, a six wheeler or something like that with these nitros. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you later. Bye now.